Hi everyone, it's Wanda. So today I went to Hobby Lobby and either I didn't know they had these or had never noticed them before. They are Anita's brand metallics and this is Amethyst. This one is a pearl metallic and it's a pearl pink. It is so pretty. And this is a pearl metallic in pearl blue, it says, but to me, it looks green. <laughs> so I don't know if they got the wrong label on it or what the deal is with that. But here they are mixed up. That looks like a light mint green to me. Beautiful pink. I love pearls. I love them so much. And the amethyst color. Now, I have not put any water in these, but they have set for just about an hour because I was expecting a phone call, so I didn't want to start the video. So I think this one, this one may be a little thicker. And so I'm gonna add a couple drops of water, just a little bit. I didn't think to check that before I started the video, or I would have. I think I'm going to do another waterfall pour. So, I think I want the purple on top. So I'm gonna start out with the green, put the pink on top of it. I'm not gonna do two layers. I'm only gonna do one this time. So I'm gonna start out with the green, put the pink on the top of that. And hope I can get all that amethyst in there, but I don't know. We'll see. I only mixed up a little bit out of the bottle, so I didn't mix the whole bottle. So, over there. This is going to fill my cup up. So I estimated pretty good on this one. This is mixed. That looks glumpy. Um, one part paint, two parts Floetrol. No water, except for in that lavender amethyst color that I just did. So, let's see what happens. Dumped a whole lot out at one time there. As you can tell, it's a little thicker than last time. It's not running as fast. These colors are so pretty. See some air bubbles. About halfway wish I had put a base coat on now so it would move easier. I know I do want to keep some of this. That's gorgeous. So.
bring some of it back down. Oh, this is gonna blend out so pretty. I'm not even worried about covering the edges at this point. <laughs> I just wanna get the top covered. Probably could have added a little water to this one. Since I had never used them before, I really didn't know how they were going to act. Lost more of that purple than I wanted to, but look how it has blended. Oh, wow. I'm gonna have to paint something on that that's super pretty. <laughs> After it dries, I hope it dries good. I think I can go around and repair my sides. Looks like I've got enough dripping over that I can. So. Let me know what you think. I think this is gorgeous. I may be using some more of these in the future. Just absolutely beautiful. So, that's exciting to me. I hope it is to you all. I really like this one. If I blend that pink and that lavender a little bit, I'm not too worried about it. So, now we know. Um, I think the way it blended, and now I'm getting some little uh, cell action going on there. This would look so pretty resined, it would knock your eyes out. And especially if you actually did it like a resin pour, where you put in your resin and put some of the paint in there. So if you do resin, you might want to consider trying some of this paint. Because this is so pretty. So, that was a quick little video. Thank you so much, and I'm getting new subscribers, and I appreciate the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And uh, please, I invite you to come back, spend a little time with me. Sometimes they're short videos, sometimes they're longer. But um, it's always an experiment, it's always fun. I love this, look at this. That is so cool. I'm loving this paint. So, thank you so much for joining me, and I invite you to come back and join me again in the future. I'll um, give you a close-up of it, and I may post this tomorrow after it's dry, so I have a dry picture of it. So, thank you. Turn the overhead light off so we wouldn't get that big glare. So, here's how it looks and the way it blended the colors all in. And it is so pretty. And, you know, there's not very many bubbles in this. So I think that maybe that green kind of had some lavender up underneath it because now it looks like it's starting to come through in cells. And I mean, it's only been like a minute. So I hope it doesn't just take the whole thing over. But like right up in here, oh wow, I love that. That is so cool. And in here, and that's not quite as bright as it looks in the camera. Um, to me, it's more of a faded out pale color, more like it is from this distance, but um, I really like this one. I think this is super cool. So you could consider using these paints, and they're, by the way, they're $1.49 at Hobby Lobby for a two ounce bottle. So just more information for you. Thank you for watching and join me again. Okay, I wanted to do a short video and show you how this dried. It's so iridescent that it almost just faded out to white. Um, I'm just a little surprised.
at how much iridescence there is in there, especially with them being cheap paints. So now I'm wondering if I could use them and add some more matte color to it and spread that iridescence out a little bit and increase the color depth. But something more to experiment with, that's for sure. It's pretty, but to me it faded out and then the iridescence came to the top and made it even more faded out. So that's how it looks today with it dry. Thanks for watching. It really does have a lot of shine to it. As you can see, that's with the light coming in the door reflecting on it. So, that's how it turned out.